Hi, this is Asa and today I would like to share how to construct contingency table using SP and the cross tabs function. Based on example 1, we have two variables here. One is the gender and one is whether that smoke or not. So what we have to do here, of course, first, insert go to the variable field we insert the variable we can use any representative for example we want variable one to represent gentle or we can straight away type the name that we want here if let's say the label is empty then the name will be presented when sps generate the table if label is not empty, then the name will not be presented, but the, the label will be presented. So we must be clear what we want the SPS to present. If let's say we would like to enter using yes, no, female, male, then we have to change the type to string because they are letters not numbers as we can see the characters 14 here stand for the maximum characters that we can enter according to female one two three four five six we have six characters only which is longer than the male as we can see this is six but this is 14 which means that we are able to enter all this without any issue since the maximum is then okay so same go to yes no then next is to think about the values so this value is basically the head count which means that is the frequency so we can type frequency without any decimal number then we back to the data view Usually, I will start from the frequency, which means that I will first enter all the frequencies before I decide what are my variables. We can enter by row or by column. So let's enter 5, 35, 10, 38. So we enter in this way, finish the first row, then go to the next row. 5, 35, 10, 38. So V1 is what? V1 is the gentle. 5 refer to female, 35 refer to female. So 5 and 35 we should type female. So this is the advantage of entering the frequency first so that the input will be correct. Then 10 and 38 for male and male. Next, variable 2, yes, no, yes, no. So 5, 35. 5 for yes, so yes. 35 for no, no. Then next should be yes, no. So that already, we can proceed to build the table. Before we build the table, always remember to wait the data as we have frequency so we must wait according to the frequency after we have wait then we go to analyze look for descriptive statistics the cross tabs as we can see we have row we have column then how can we input so that we can get this table this is the method here if the data if the value is presented in the way of top to bottom, then we call row and the data presented from the left to the right, we call column, which means that gentle, we should put at the row and smoker, we should put under the column. Before we proceed to generate the table, we can roughly check for the statistics. 
if we are asked to determine the independent to check for the independence means that we need to set up the chi-square independent test then we click on the chi-square otherwise then we just ignore then for the cells if we are not asked for others values then we just ignore we can proceed to ok if we are interested to know the of expected value then we click on the expected as value as well if we would like to know the percentages then we click on the percentages as well okay then okay so this is the result that generated by the SPS as we can see the table that we obtain here according to what we refer should be yes followed by no however the table that generated by the SPS is no followed by yes this is because according to alphabetical order no the letter n is in front of y which means that sps will generate n first if let's say we would like to have exactly this table then what we have to do here is instead of using the latin n and y we should use 0 1 or any integer we just have to follow ascending order then we could have the correct version so let's back to the variable view we just have to delete all this remain the frequency but now go to variable view the, var the first variable the gentle the value we should use zero to represent female and one to represent male so when SPN generate will refer to zero to one in ascending order then the table will be exactly the same as what we have here then zero for yes the one that we want first we put smaller value the one that we want later we put bigger value so that is in sequence 0 to 1 yes to no okay then here we just change female is 0 0 male is 1 1 so yes is 0 no is 1 yes is 0 no is 1 okay now let's generate again we don't have to wait again because it's already being waited or we can check again uh, is weighted so ignore then we continue analyze descriptive the cross tabs so generate again now this time the sequence is correct female male yes no and everything correct which is exactly the same as this one okay let's try another example to have better understanding for example 2, as we can see, for the weight category, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is considered as ordinal data, which means that the sequence is very important. We have to start with underweight, followed by healthy, followed by overweight, followed by obese, which means that we cannot follow alphabetical order for this type of data. Then again, we use the same idea. We use 0, 1, 2, and 3 to represent the categories. Let's try. We can start with a new data. Go to variable field. Let's enter. We have gender and the weight category. should be without any decimal places and don't remember we have also the frequency labor we can write again gender or leave it empty then the name will be presented for the category basically is the weight category 
gender again we can label zero as female then one as male okay then we category we have zero is for underweight then one which is for healthy weight two is for over weight and three is for obese then done proceed to data wheel refresh and the frequency so we can key in this way row by row so we have 427 3 3 18 8 4 which means that we finish all the female first how many 1 2 3 4 0 0 0 0 then followed by male 1 1 1 and 1 then next under health under healthy over weight or beast under healthy overweight or beast which means that it's 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 then again remember to weight cases weight according to frequency then then we proceed to the cross tabs again analyze discrete statistics the cross tabs again up down row up down row left right column okay then we done we will get exactly the one that we have here female male underweight healthy overweight or beast underweight healthy overweight or beast and all the values are correctly presented okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you